Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Assuming I got this out on schedule for once. So, I've noticed something over the last couple of years. It seems that people tend to dismiss certain stories based on single characters. It started with the episode Hank's Bully. After talking to some people and watching some reviews on the episode, I learned that a lot of people don't like that episode because of Caleb. Which, to be fair, is their right. Caleb was incredibly annoying, but that was part of the point. We were never supposed to like him, and the episode was intended to shine a light on the children of parents who never gave any form of consequences to their children. You felt Hank's frustration at the kid and his parents because he couldn't do anything. Now, whether you think the episode is good or bad is kind of at your own discretion. I praised it uh, for the reason that many people say it's bad. And uh, what confused me is that people saying the episode was bad only believe that because Caleb was annoying. Now, if you hate the episode, that's fine. Objectively, you can hate something that's good or like something that's bad. I mean, how many people like bad movies? It can work the same the other way. Everyone has their biases after all. And it's important to acknowledge that just because you hate something doesn't mean it doesn't have merit. Example, I could never get into the Justice League, whether it be show, comics, or movies. I just couldn't care less. I like the characters and most of what I've seen from them, but for whatever reason, when you put a bunch of DC heroes together, unless it's classic Teen Titans or the first season of Young Justice, I really couldn't care less. All this brings me around to the King of the Hill episode, Goodbye Normal Jeans. Now, the basic premise of this episode is Bobby is failing his home ec class because instead of paying attention in class, he has spent the entire year goofing off. He's given an assignment to remove a stain from a cheerleader's outfit, his mother helps him accidentally ruining Hank's single pair of pants, and it's this act that causes Bobby to buckle down, uh, ask for help from his teacher to fix uh, Hank's pants, and uh, in doing so, he learns that he enjoys home ec, and uh, after starting it at home, Peggy starts becoming jealous as Hank starts giving Bobby more attention. I actually want to point out before we go too much further that Bobby's teacher is designed in such a way to give off the feeling of someone who really hates Bobby. She's old, stiff, and the manner in which she speaks to him is that of someone who is sick of him. Definitely Bobby's fault due to him screwing around for the first three months of the school year, but when he earnestly asks for help, she drops all of it and helps him, something she didn't have to do in the slightest. Bobby, to his credit, also really takes a liking to his home ec class after this. He does a fantastic job making Hank new pants. To use Hank's words, the pants are perfect. And not gonna lie, as someone who hates wearing denim with a passion, those pants look really comfortable. It's here that the plot gets moving. Bobby shows that he's a natural when it comes down to cooking and cleaning, and he finds some real enjoyment out of it. With his father praising him at every corner, Bobby shines rather brightly here. The problem most people have, however, is Peggy. As Hank continues to praise Bobby, he starts neglecting his wife as she finds value in being a homemaker. Yes, she also finds value in being a teacher, but that's not important here. You see, the Hills live life in a rut, essentially. They eat the same meals every week, rarely deviating uh, because they find comfort in things uh, being the way they like it. Pair this with how Hank is emotionally stunted due to his upbringing, and you get a good formula for Hank not being able to show how appreciative he is at any given moment. Peggy, being a very prideful character, is constantly seeking validation from others. She was substitute teacher of the year three times, after all. On top of that, Peggy is also very territorial. And since the Hills are very conservative, even if Peggy is also very liberal at times, she took on the more traditional housework expected of women at the time. Essentially, this is her job and she will fight to keep it. Peggy is the type of character to do this regardless of the job. If her and Hank's chores were to flip, Peggy would act the exact same way, is what I'm trying to get across. So when Bobby comes in and starts doing the same type of chores that Peggy is doing, while also excelling and grabbing Hank's appreciation, she gets jealous. Really jealous. This is where a lot of people tend to lose the episode. From the people I've talked to, most people tend to see Peggy getting jealous and competitive with Bobby and instantly write this episode off because Peggy is being unpleasant, so bad episode. The problem with this mentality is that it leaves absolutely no room for nuance. Peggy isn't competing with Bobby to prove who's better, but to get Hank's validation. It doesn't help that Peggy doesn't get annoyed until Hank says that the fans are perfect and that he's glad she ruined his jeans. Even though Hank didn't mean that as an insult, this is the way Peggy takes it. She screwed up and Bobby is better than her. Next we see them and Hank once again compliments Bobby on his great job and that he's leading his Thanksgiving prayer with his new pants. Once again, something he only has because of a mistake his wife made. 
At the same time, Bobby is cooking, something that Hank seems apprehensive about for reasons he explained earlier. It's not that Bobby is doing it, but that if he learns how to take care of himself, why would he get married if he can do all the household chores, including the traditionally male ones? They never state it in the episode, but if you've been watching for the seven seasons to get here, you'd pick up on the fact that Hank intends on Bobby becoming his ideal of a man. Once Hank is gone, however, Peggy takes the time to uh, take her first shot at Bobby in a way to suggest she doesn't want him encroaching on her cooking duties. Of course, at dinner, Hank becomes impressed with Bobby's roast, opting to eat it as opposed to Peggy's pork chops. Once again, Peggy takes it as a challenge even though Bobby is just trying to pass his class that he's now enjoying. I need to make it clear, as Peggy's spiteful, aggressive actions formed from jealousy are not right here. The episode never tries to make that point, and it does require some context clues and critical thinking to piece the entire puzzle together. Peggy's actions towards Bobby are unjustifiable, but that doesn't mean they aren't understandable. Here's the thing. Bobby is the only person who is 100% in the right. He's not doing anything to spite anyone. All he's doing is something he's grown passionate about. Peggy took this the entirely wrong way and started competing with Bobby unnecessarily due to some unintentionally hurtful words from Hank. Ultimately, Peggy is the most in the wrong because she let her ego get the better of her and failed to actually tell Hank she was feeling neglected. We tend to give Hank a pass because he's supporting his son, and this is one of the rare moments the two are bonding. So... Did you sleep well? Bobby and I were up all night talking. Really, really talking. After trying to make a centerpiece, Peggy gives herself ticks, and she is uh, given the advice to give Hank the one thing that only she can. Of course, her sexual advances only go so far before the fumes in her new hairstyle overwhelm Hank. I think it's all that beauty stuff in your hair. It kind of has that new car smell. I love the Hank downplays how strong the chemicals smell to try to make Peggy feel better. It's a small detail to show how Hank isn't being malicious in this episode. He's just incredibly dense. The next day is Thanksgiving, and after lying awake all night listening to the rest of her family having a good time, Peggy grows bitter and steals a turkey running off to her hairstylist where she learns that the very flamboyant person who she thought was gay is actually straight. Not only that, but he has a wife and child. It's almost a narrative metaphor about the episode itself. On the surface, this episode is Bobby is doing a housework commonly thought of as a woman's work for the time and place, and Peggy gets angry at her son because he's good at it. But once you take a deeper look, you get the full picture. I've been being around the bush a little for this video going into Peggy's personality with how narcissistic she is often portrayed. However, that is only some of her character. Peggy is a narcissist, she is also a conservative woman in Texas, and she's also a feminist. Throughout the show, Peggy is constantly challenging the way society thinks. Something that's uh, considered a women's work? Well, her response would be, well, there are men there are stay-at-home dads. Wrestling is a boys' sport? Well, she will fight tooth and nail to make sure that the neighbor's kid, Connie, gets a spot on the team. What's more is she's forced to pick between her ideals and her family on what is more important to her. Sure, we don't see her choice in the episode, but it's still something she was confronted with. When she thinks her son isn't receiving enough attention and love due to being diagnosed with ADD, she contemplates quitting her job to become a full-time mother. What's more is while Bobby is treated as a natural in this episode, he's really not. Or at least not as much as we are led to believe. Peggy has actively taught Bobby how to do more traditional women's jobs. Off the top of my head, there's the season 11 episode Blood and Sauce where she teaches him to bake a cake. In season 3, she's seen gardening with Bobby and Joseph, and in season 2, Peggy asks Bobby if he wants to go to cooking school. So it's not that Peggy feels threatened by her son, and I don't need to go far for the truth, because the episode tells us directly why Peggy is acting the way she is. You have made her feel useless in her own house. Once Peggy's hairdresser spells out to Hank how she's been feeling, he finally realizes what he needs to do. When Peggy returns home, she finds out that Hank and Bobby cooked all their usual meals, and Hank finally gives her the validation she wanted. In this episode, Peggy wanted to be appreciated for what she always does. Yes, she gets angry and competitive with Bobby, and that is a problem. I won't justify her actions. She is in the wrong. But people will do stupid things for attention especially if uh, they see someone giving attention to someone for doing something that they have been doing for years. Sometimes you just need to be told, hey, good job, and that's the point of the episode. But to circle back around to the beginning, is this episode frustrating at points? Yes, Peggy's actions can be entirely frustrating, but does that make it bad? Well, is a video game bad just because it's difficult? 
Or is a song bad just because it's part of a genre of music you don't like? No, and that doesn't mean you have to like it. I do, but maybe I'm just in the minority here.